What's going on, guys? So this is for all the non-believers out there. They arrived. These are the AGPs. These are a replica-style TRD Pro wheel at a much nicer price point. I will put a link in the description. If you like content like this, definitely subscribe before you finish this video because there's a lot more Toyota 4Runner and Tacoma videos coming. Uh, one of my buddies has a Tacoma that's the same color as the 4Runner. And he's getting almost an identical set, but probably in the gold. So we'll see how that goes. But here's the info on them. They're 17 by eight. They're replica style. Now, price point. Really is gonna depend on shipping and what deal you get. So I got all four of these shipped to the house for 750 bucks. I think it was 760, but you know, close enough. They're being paired with 285 7017 Falcon Wild P AT3s. Now, I got those used. And if you look, they are pretty much brand new. They were a Jeep takeoff. Great option if you're looking just to get some Falcons. A lot of Jeeps come with Falcons and Nittos, so you can get them pretty cheap. They're always going to be all terrain or mud terrain. So, good option there. Let's go ahead. I've already unboxed one of these, so making this video would be easier but for y'all to see oh yeah these things are awesome so these have a positive five millimeter offset the bore is 106.2 so these will work with chevy or toyota but they are meant for toyota they're about 25 pounds a piece they look amazing Quality control, police check fitment prior to mounting. They're aluminum, so they're not super heavy. They have installation instructions, depending on where you go if you do them yourself. Now the big thing is TPMS sensors, or your tire pressure sensors, as some people won't know what TPMS sensors are. Let me uh, grab This is a fat green Toyota TPMS sensor out of the forerunner and you will want to have these in your wheels so you have your reading for your tire pressure monitoring system very important to have especially with replicas because you never know how the build quality is these are going to be getting installed very soon i will be making tons of videos off-roading with these that way you can see how well they handle over land wise um because Reps can get a very bad name. Um, not going to name any brands in particular, but they crack really bad. And these don't look like they're made by that same manufacturer. Um, they do have, you know, they, they do have flaws. I'm not going to lie. These things are just like any other aluminum cast wheel. They're going to have a little bit of flaws. They can't get all the imperfections out, but from just here... It's pretty hard to see any imperfections. And when I mean imperfection, I'm talking about like, I mean, a little divot or a little bump, you know, things like that. Very minute things. But casting these wheels in aluminum, you're going to get that from the molds. Um, there's no way around it. They're not forged. They're not milled. They're not machined. So they're literally painted and that's it. Now, somebody was so kind online to make a trd 3d print for these so you can get that um i don't have the link it is in the forerunner groups and i believe a few of the other toyota mod groups so stay tuned for that because this is an agp and there's many companies that make knockoffs but agp is one of those new companies they started like last year the year before not a lot of people have heard of them. There's a lot of Toyotas running them that you wouldn't expect because they have changed this to TRD. Um, and you can't really tell. So that's what I'm running uh, on the 4Runner. Well, technically what Maggie's running. They're 17 by 8. They're going to have 33, 1250s pretty much. These are 285, 75, uh, 285, 70, 17. So almost a 33, uh, like a 33, 12, 17. Um, like I said, these are an eight, so they're wider than the TRD Pros, which are like a seven, seven and a half. And I did like that as well. I would have liked to have a little bit of negative offset with these, but the positive would be all right. So once I get these mounted and balanced, I will be running beat bounce probably in these. That's just a personal preference. 
um, especially with unknown um, unknown brand. I might get them balanced normal and then bead balance um, just to verify that they do balance all right because that's another issue that comes into play with either crappy tires or crappy rims is sometimes the balancing can be the issue. So just stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and you're going to see much more about these. Also, AGP, if you're watching this video, could use a sponsorship for the Silverado, and it's going to be put through a whole lot worse conditions than the 4Runner, I'm just going to say. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, comment down below. I almost forgot. You can get these as a combo together, already pre-mounted, balanced, and TPMS sensors from them. It's right around $2,000. I believe it's like $1,800 with TPMS sensors to $2,000, depending on which wheel you go with. Because they do have other brand, uh, other styles, but they do offer the Wild Peaks in all of the tires. I think it was like sixteen hundred and fifty bucks before shipping, before TPMS sensors. Um, so afterwards, it's going to be a little bit more. So right around two grand, twenty two hundred bucks shipped to your door. Not a bad price, honestly, for the way they look. So definitely check them out.